Hey peeps, how's it going? Hope all is well. Today we're on episode number 22 of our Thomas Vega FIFA 21 player career mode series here with Real Madrid. Now then, uh, we have not been selected in the second leg of the Champions League uh, round, round of 16, quarterfinal, what is it? Round of 16 against PSG. Uh, in the first leg, we beat them 2-1. So uh, we should be good. Now, we actually, uh, fun little fact from PSG. Um, and the only reason it's half interesting is because, as you may know, we've been playing in centre-back for Real Madrid. And I've... Uh, Thomas Vega, he's not a centre-back, is Thomas Vega. There's something on my camera. There we go. Uh, he's not a centre-back. He's really not. So, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to go or not. He's been playing centre-back, which I hate. Uh, there's the team. We're absolutely knackered. See, I mean, Cal Walker's like 82 overall. We could fit in right back for them in the 4-2-4. Imagine us attacking down that right with Sarabia, crossing into Correa and Mbappe. It could work. It could work. We're leading 2-1 on aggregate. PSG go through. Okay, yeah. Um, of the Champions League. We're not even selected in the league. And we go and lose. I can't believe they bought a 2-1 lead against PSG. I was hoping Vega would go far in the Champions League this year with, with Real Madrid. What are these? Oh, World Cup qualifiers. Hertha Berlin. Excuse me. No, thank you. Hertha Berlin. Oh, Vega's actually playing right back for, for Argentina. Should we play some, a couple international, let's play a couple international games, why not? Let's play a couple, it's, it's been a while since we played for Argentina, World Cup qualifiers, they're, they're big matches, we, well, I think we're already through, but there's the team, La Celso, uh, Senezi, Pavon ahead of us, Lotaro, and 91 overall up top, oh my goodness, Thiago Amada and Palacios Correa on the left, it's a very nice team, let's play some international football. Ayo! 10k subs, yeah? David, done it again, done it again. They see the Brody hit 10k, next year that's 50,000 subs, I swear. Where's that? Where's that? Did you see that guy's? He had a man bun with the side shit. Who was that? Why is that hair not on the game? Mate, Thomas Vega fit, he has the same trim as half of these Argentinians. There's the nice little, that's a nice little. Black. Where's that? Is that him? Look, look, he has a man bun with a side shit. Why can't I have that on my player? That's a banging trim. That's what I have, just a bit shorter on the... Damn it. Argentina, take on Colombia. <laughs> what are we, number five for Tina? I'll take it. Oh, it just feels good to be back on the right-hand side, man. It really... It's just... It... Oh, man. It's annoying, because, you know, I've been enjoying Real Madrid. I wouldn't mind staying. But... Vega doesn't, he just doesn't want to play centre back. He really doesn't. I mean, we've even seen for Real Madrid, even when he's playing centre back, whenever he, he does end up, if he does get the ball on the right side, he's getting assists still from the right side, even though he's playing centre back. You know, it's where he wants to be playing. Luckily, the Argentina boss knows that. Lovely one, two. Vega, pass to defender, goes for goal, rebound. Lataro Martinez, 1 0. Thank you very much. Easy peasy. Easy, easy. It doesn't count as an uh, as an assist, but we'll take it. Again, I think we're already through in the in the in the qualifiers. I think we're already through. I think we're pretty comfy. I think we're second, one point behind Brazil or something like that. But we're looking pretty comfy. Round the defender, shot, rebound, number two six, Latara Martinez with the finish, one nil, Argentina. Does that mean it's it's if we're doing the qualifiers now? Does that mean it's World Cup season soon? Because boy oh boy, that would be exciting with Argentina. This team is phenomenal. Haven't we already? Have we been in a World Cup already? Or will this be our first World Cup? What year are we in? I can't remember now. Vega, nice interception. Keeps composed. I say that. He almost lost it. He's kept the body him off. They take it back. Oh, hefty touch. It's fine. He just feels way more confident, way more comfortable on the right hand side. You know, it's just he's, he's not a centre back. You know, you can't you can't play you can't play full backs in centre back if they can't play there, and he, he just. He's not one of them, you know. Some 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 players can play fullback. Oh, what a, what a ball! Oh, Martin, I should have just shot. Some fullbacks can handle centre back, and they can play both. But Vegas is not one of them. He prefers being on the wing. He's going to go for goal here. Shot on target. Apparently, got got blocked. Go into the goal scorer, Lataro. Get on your left foot. Goes to Pavon. Almada. Back to Palacios. Oh, I tried to sneak through. Latara, unlucky. Bore with the nice trim, Vega. Strong. It's very. 
I love Thomas Vega's play style, man. I love it. The pacey fullback. Getting up. Whipping balls across. Oh, hefty touch from Tagliafico. That cross was not great, I'll be honest with you. Nice interception, Palacios. Don't know about the pass, though. I think we'll play this match. We'll play the next ah, next international match, too, if we get selected. And then we'll probably add one... I think we have Barcelona coming up. I think we have double Barcelona, actually. We have Barcelona in the league and then in the final of one of the cups. I think the Copa de España, maybe. So we'll play one of those, hopefully, if we get selected. Yeah, making progress again. Cutting inside, lovely. Pass it across. Lataro tried to go on his right foot. Nice run from Vega again. He's hoping that Zidane is watching this game. <laughs> He's saying, hey, Zidane, see what I can do on this right hand side. Put me back there, please. Defensively, too. Got caught out there. Recovered well. Oh, no, no, no. Almost took him out. Jorman, good block from Martinez. Is that half time? 1 0. There is a goal scorer. 91 overall striker. Can't complain. Cannot complain. I'm interested at that PSG offer now. I'm real interested at that PSG offer. They knocked us out. I can't believe we got knocked out of the Champions League like that, man. Fuming. I can't, oh, he play, did he play for Bournemouth? Was that in Champions League or was they in the Premier League? I can't even remember now. It's odd not being at like one of the big Premier League teams. Normally we always end up there. Lataro, oh, I'm lucky with the pass. Been spending a lot of time in Spain and Germany, of course, with buying three. Did Latara just go off? Dybala's on. It's not a bad sub, to be fair. <laughs> Dybala for Martinez. Yeah, this uh, this Argentina team looks very, very cheeky, especially with us playing actually in right back. Breaking through the defence on his left. I tried to get it in. He's made some nice runs as Vega. Carrasco gets space now as Vega has no stamina to get back. About 20 minutes left to play here. They go up there trying to help out, get past the defence. He goes down. He's not taking the throw. Pavon goes off, as does Vega. That bo uh, Both players on the right hand side going off with 20 minutes left to play. Oh, they scored in the 90th minute to make it 1 1. Really? Really? Second in the group, Eurogar third. How many teams go through? Five teams go through. If you walk up qualify. Does that mean five? Like the, the little green thing? Does that mean all five go through? I think we should be safe, right? Uh, Montiel playing right back this game. Buendia up top. Icardi on the left. Dybala midfield. McAllister. Weird looking team. They do the job though. 2-0 Pavon with the brace. Not being selected for the La Liga matches here at home. 2-1 win. Vinicius Junior with one. Deli Ali with the other. Villarreal. A big win at home. 2-0. I think Barcelona might be next. And hopefully we can get selected for it. It is indeed. They're currently third. But we're in April. We're coming up to the end of the season. We only have a couple months left already. We do get selected at centre back. Why can't you just change that? For once, their team's tied and we're not, which is interesting. Maybe they have Champions League, which we got knocked out of. Joe Gomez, Thomas Vegas, centre back, Klossman, right back, Deli Ali, Casemiro, Foden. The Pites, a lovely, lovely team. Yo, we just hit 11k subs, man. And on the analytics, like 50% of you watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel. Boys, girls. Just it's a one-click button, man. I, I, it's just, just a one. It's free, you know. Daily videos. What, 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 what more can you want? You know, from my face and my voice. Guys, we just hit 11k. It's awesome, but we could do more. 50% of you, just touch the button. You know, if you're on laptop, boom, one click. If you're on PC, boom, one click. If you're on phone, one press. It's not really a click. You press the screen. Tablet, press the screen. You know. 50% of you. Let's get that number down. And let's get our sub number up. I believe in you. 20k by the end of the year. Who says no? Hey? Let's do it. Enjoy the video, man. Enjoy. There is the Barcelona team. We're playing center. I, I hate it. I really, really do. Players to watch. Francisco Trincao. Two goals in his previous match. We're going to have to try to keep him quiet at the back. Let me quickly reset the face cam. Bish, bash, bosh. Let's be having you. El Clasico. Barcelona taking on Real Madrid. I believe our next fixture, I believe it's back to... No, there may be a game in between, actually, but we definitely have them in the final coming up. We may include... Yeah, we've only played one match this episode. Uh, we'll include, if we get selected for the other one, both Barcelona games to end this episode. I just... Look, I miss I miss having that space, having that freedom. I know I keep talking about it. That was a good cross. I know I keep talking about it, but it's just... It's so frustrating for me because Thomas Vega... I was loving, you know, learning to play right back more and more. With Thomas Vega getting getting better and better, getting more and more assists and whatnot. Don't know why Courtois didn't come out. I was absolutely loving playing right back, and 
You have to do what the gaffer wants and Zidane wants him in centre back for whatever reason and wants Klosterman on right back. I don't know why they changed it, but they did. Uh, but, you know, you've got to do it as a football player, like I say. Uh, there's a the league table. We are currently three points above Barcelona now. Looking to stay top of La Liga. We're out of the Champions League, so really only have La Liga to be fighting for, right? Well, and, you know, the little cup final, but La Liga mainly. Oh my God, what a goal. Bernardo Silva, the little touch. Of course, this is Zondo's new team. If you miss Carabao Zondo, he has recently joined Barcelona. Fighting for the Champions League. One last season for him, potentially. What a goal that was. Who played that ball over? I don't know why Courtois didn't come out. Bernardo Silva snuck him behind. It was on the left side. It wasn't on the Vegas side. <laughs> Got the little touch to form Man City, man. Got the little touch past the former Chelsea, man. And that is 1-0 Barcelona. Oh, clean sheet's gone. It's not the start you want. That's another thing about playing centre-back. I feel like I can't help out as much going forward than I can at right-back, you know? Without leaving too much of a gap. Here's Memphis Depay. One of our new men coming in in January. Been a solid sign for us. It's Casemiro ball up to Deli Ali. Dispossessed by Tomori. Two former Premier League stars. There's a lot of Premier League players or former Premier League players in, uh, in La Liga. There's Rodrigo. Rather central. Drifting. Oh, Deli Ali was through there. Ah, terrible, terrible. Now I know how the centre-back feels when Thomas Vega goes up and leaves him wide open. <laughs> Not a very nice feeling. Oh, that's a terrible throw in. Terrible throw. Klosterman won it back. Don't know what he was thinking there. Rodrigo. I don't know how quick he is. It's quite quick, but he's not going to reach that, unfortunately. Trying to find a way through enemies necessary right now. But on Silva, Vega going in strong. Lovely tackle. I love those sort of tackles. Oh, hefty touch. Clashing into the defender. Half time, we find ourselves 1-0 down away from home. Been struggling offensively. We've had nothing. Absolutely nothing. They had one little chip for one little break and they got it. Jesus goes off. We've had absolutely nothing going forward. Very poor. Like I say, now that we're out of Champions League, La Liga is our main trophy to be winning. Let's not go bottle it to our rivals, shall we? They got forward to Rodrigo. Lovely pass up. Not many options in the middle. He tries to cross it. Tomorrow he's there to meet it though. Rodrigo back to Vega again. He's drifting out a lot into that right side because that's where he feels most comfy. Oh, drill it in. Casemiro. Oh, what a terrible shot. Rebound. Open goal. One, one. Lovely stuff, Casemiro. It counts as an assist too. We've got an assist for it. Lovely stuff. Well done, skipper. Captain Casemiro. Vega. I don't want to keep saying it. I don't want to keep saying it. He just feels more comfortable there. Unlucky on the first shot. First to react on the rebound. Vega, he's just comfy on that right-hand side. I don't, know how to, I don't know what else to tell you, Zidane. Don't know what else to tell you, mate. Memphis goes off. Don't know how I feel about that. Luka Jovic probably coming on. He's been a bit pants. Put Vega up top. 1-1 <laughs> as, uh, as we look to claw our way ahead here. Well, Silva trying to go down this right side again. Vega there to meet him. Made a couple of good challenges to Thomas Vega. And he still goes on this right side here. Luka Jovic is in the middle. Nice terrible cross. Unlucky from Vega. Hopefully he's being covered by someone. His variety pushing forward. Vega, easy. Meeting Van der Beek. Oh, Van der Beek comes away with it. Was there a handball in there or a foul in there? Lovely stuff. The goal scorer Bernardo Silva goes off. That's a questionable pass. Trincao. Easy intercepted. Vega will win it back after losing it. So Foden got to Jovic. About 20 minutes left, boys. Still level pegging. 1-1. Out to Ooze, man on the, on the left. Vega coming over to help Klosterman. 1 2 is offside. He's offside. Vega's playing like a an attacking midfielder right now. Oh, Phil Foden making the run through. Has to be. Oh my god, Phil Foden, you legend. Thomas Vega was just surveying the scene. He was playing like he was playing like Urzel. Prime Urzel at Real Madrid. Looking left, looking right, looking forward. Played the pass through. And Phil Foden in front of the Barcelona fans. Phil Foden, the former Man City youngster. Look, he was just everyone was going off him. I don't know where the defender went. Phil Foden snuck through. Lovely part. Mate, Thomas Vega. I wish it was like Pez where he could learn different different positions. I wouldn't mind Thomas Vega playing like DM. You know, he could play CDM over centre back. Because he has that passing, like 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 we've seen there. He could be like a Callum Chambers, you know, he can play CDM, can play right back, can play centre back. I wouldn't mind that, but centre back is just 
Not his cup of tea. Don't let them go and equalize after we go ahead. Finkau or oh, Vega. Oh my god. Potentially a game saving block. Can I get a replay of that, please? My bum hole was squeaking. Vega, he knew Trincao was going to look for the shot. He came across. Past Joe Gomez. What a block from Vega. What a block. Body on the line. Five minutes left to play. Barcelona corner. Vega on the front post. Joe Gomez goes off for Mukieli. Ball goes in. Casemiro heads it. Out for a Barcelona throw. Oh, please hold on, boys. Please hold on. 90th minute has been touched. There are two minutes added. Ball in. Oh, he's offside. Thomas Vega was there to collect if needed. Vega, he doesn't care about his pass accuracy or anything like that. Hoof it up. Lovely stuff. Jovic got it anyway. 2-1 away win for Real Madrid after going 1-0 down. Thomas Vega with a game-saving assist and potentially the game-saving block. Who knows if it was going in or not. Happy, happy days. 8.3 rating for the youngster. Here's the final straight away up next. And we are selected again in centre back. It's the same teams. Might as well play back to back Barcelona matches in this episode. Let's be having you. Now, hopefully, we can do a double over them and lift a trophy this episode. Would be nice to end episode 22 with a trophy. You know, why not? And now we're at the Bernabeu Stadium, too, for this cup final. Vega, nice inception. Can't keep it, though. Cancelo, Vega on him. Vinicius Junior, keep running. Round the defender. Lovely for Foden. Vega will go back, let them deal with this now. I'll play Memphis. Oh, Memphis was through there. Vega. Ooh, against Jesus. He won it. Not the best header zone. There to help. There to help. Got to trust your centre-back partnership. Ref, no? Okay. Nice passing from Barcelona. We've got to watch those chip-through balls. That's how Bernardo got the goal in the first match, or the last match. One chip-through ball, and he was, th he was through. It's Cancelo into the young. Verratti now. Up to Usman. Jesus up on the right-hand side. Watch your hands, boys. Good block. I think it was Joe Gomez with the block. I thought, as I said, watch your hands. I thought someone was going to handball it. All of a sudden, there's a counter-attack. Vinicius Junior down the left-hand side. Memphis in the box. Rodrigo in the box. He can cut it back. Oh, he goes for goal. He tried to sneak it in, the greedy bugger. Unlucky Vinicius. Good run from him, though. Memphis. Oh, my God. What a ball. Oh, he's offside. Casemiro loves to bottle a one-on-one, doesn't he? Great, uh, great attempt from Depay. Vega going to go back up to the striker. Foden. Put Foden through. Vega again loves pushing up. Goes into Memphis. One more for Deli Ali on his left. For absolute skies. Sedan urging the boys on. Look at the Barcelona flags. This is the away end, I think. Uh, I think our fans are over that side. But there are a lot, a lot of Barcelona fans here. Let me reset my camera real quick. Probably shouldn't do it as they're attacking. But there you go. Bloop. There's Usman into Bernardo Silva. Vega harassing him, not letting him breathe near the box. And Vega coming away with the ball as well. Fantastic defending there from TV. Going to hoof up to Deli Ali, who had something to Rodrigo. Fantastic defending. It feels good when you defend well <laughs> on this game. Rodrigo going down the right side. Needs some help. Oh, Frankie Dion could tackle. Half time nil nil currently. I feel like we've been the better team. Not many chances for either side, but. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. It's been equal. It's been equal. We're both. Vega goes up to Klosterman. Rodrigo. Deli. Vega. Klosterman. Thomas Vega trying to get it in. Testegan punches clear, though. Again, Vega gravitating towards that right hand side as he likes to do. Can't blame him. He tries to get there as much as possible. Even if, even if he's playing centre back, he still likes to push up down the right hand side. As you've seen. About half an hour left to play here, folks. Still tied at nil-nil. Nothing really for either side. Trincao ball in. Joe Gomez there to meet it. Rodrigo, you want to run? Nope. De Jong pestering Vega. He got the pass off anyway. Memphis goes down to Thomas Vega. Vega trying to get on his right foot and go for God. Don't know why. Hefty tackle from De Jong. Good tackle though. Joe Gomez. Well done. Oh, De Jong is just intercepting everything right now. Depay, well done, Gomez. Vega was just getting in that gap as well. Oh, they're talking about Depay. Saying something about him. He's been fantastic. We love him. Yeah. Memphis. Vega. Klosterman. Look, look at the gap. Kloster. Vega would have been attacking that space right there. Klosterman. Clueless. 15 to play. Ladies and gents. Oh, is that Kudus coming on? That's a big boy sub right there from Zidane. That's a big boy sub. Love a bit of Kudus. Oh, Depay got injured. He's still on. Is that what they were talking about earlier? 
Klosterman. <gasps> They've kept him on. I didn't see him get injured. I didn't see him... Maybe on the Frankie de Jong challenge earlier. The hefty challenge. I'm not sure. And there's no injury sign. I think he'll be fine. I think it'll, hopefully he's not out for long. Don't want to see Yuka, uh, Luka Jovic. Oh, he goes off now, Memphis. I mean, he walked off, though. He went off. Renier comes on. Hopefully he's not out for too long. Five minutes left. I'm guessing this goes extra time. Oh, Frankie de Jong again. On Vegas. In the middle. Frankie de Jong. Fantastic midfielder. He's been cancelling out everything. Thomas Vega doing Thomas Vega things here. Getting up the pitch is Renier. Yep, yep, yep. Into Thomas Vega touching shot. <gasps> Genuinely speechless. He ran to Zidane as well. Thomas Vega. Touch shot with Verratti right next to him. That is a striker's finish. In the 91st minute. And he ran to Zidane as well. Oh, I actually love this kid. I love Thomas Vega. Oh, he's one of my favorite. Him and Zonda, I'm telling you, we just want it. He actually, mate, mate, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I can't believe that. <laughs> he won it in the 90th minute against Barcelona. <laughs> Vega and Zondo. I don't know what it is. I'm hoping, because we're going to make a new one uh, eventually, like I said, like April, May times. So we're going to make a new one going into FIFA 22. I hope I like it. I hope it's as good as Zondo and Vega, because Zondo and Vega have been two of the best player career modes I've ever done in my life. I have loved them both so much. And Vega celebrates another trophy. I can't believe that. What an end to the episode. <laughs> Everyone get ready. Thomas Vegas scored. He went up. He felt good about it. Touch and short edge of the box. Captain Casemiro to lift it. Everyone get ready. Get ready with the ooze. Ooh. <laughs> the confetti is falling. Vega's at the front there. He still has the tape on his hand. He's had that his whole career. I can't believe Vega just scored that. I really can't. Copa de España champions are Real Madrid. Three points above uh, uh, Atletico Madrid. Two domestic trophies. Three league titles. He still needs a Continental Cup. But that's fine for now. Yeah, we got to the final of the Super Cup. I think Barcelona beat us in that, didn't they? Yeah, they beat us 2 1. That's fine. We got a revenge. We won the Copa de España. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed, please do leave a thumbs up on the video for a fantastic, fantastic end to this one. We've done the double over Barca and lifted another trophy. Uh, all my social media links are down in the description down below. We're probably going to end the, the season very shortly. Um, so hopefully we, we lift La Liga title as well. Uh, and we'll see what happens next season, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in the next one. Much of us always. Yeah, peace. I can't believe this kid. My stand up for an idiot kid. Slap see a man get murked. Two paintings in a whip. I'm a read this kid in the back like Donnie Demur. Sat in the back like Donnie Demur. I think the blonde thing's feeling Harry. He in the middle, he putting in work. Coming like Sutton, like Coffee Kawasi. If he up top, then he's scoring a hattie. Same way he does when a man plays clubs. This year, the Brody hit 10k. Next year, that's 50,000 subs. I swear.